Magic Acid. Uh, the name originated after a Christmas party in 1966, when a member of the other club placed a paraffin candle into the acid and found out uh, that it dissolved quite rapidly. Well, today we are going to check this fact. Magic acid is a super acid consisting of a mixture of antimony pentafluoride and fluorosulfuric acid. Like most other Sigma Aldrich chemicals, fluorosulfuric acid is very well packaged too. Fluorosulfuric acid is a free-flowing colorless fuming liquid, is considered to be highly toxic and extremely corrosive. It burns paper with ease. Fluorosulfuric acid hydrolyzes to hydrogen fluoride and sulfuric acid. This reaction generates a lot of heat. The second component of magic acid is antimony pentafluoride. Look at that, antimony pentafluoride should be a transparent liquid, but in this case it has a bluish tint. That's very weird, uh, since it was a fresh reagent uh, that was stored under reasonable conditions. Actually, this suspension bothers me quite a bit. Let me know in the comments what do you think happened to this reagent. Antimony pentafluoride is very hygroscopic. It absorbs moisture from the air and a dihydrate is formed. So, antimony pentafluoride is a vigorous oxidizer and fluorinating agent. Phosphorus burns on contact with it.
In water, it is dissolved with effervescence and gives a colorless solution. Antimony pentafluoride is a high viscosity liquid and it's quite hard to fill a pipette with. Having mixed antimony pentafluoride and fluorosulfuric acid, we produced magic acid. Well, let's dip a paraffin candle in it and see if anything happens. In half an hour I haven't noticed any signs of the candle really dissolving in magic acid. The acid just got a little darker, maybe that's the result of candle coloring reacting with it. Ok, maybe this candle was too big for the volume of magic acid given, so I decided to use a small piece of pure white paraffin. Storing and heating it for 5 minutes didn't result in any dissolution, close to the one that supposedly occurred in Olalab and was then described in a historical Fisher article. My paraffin piece just melt. Maybe that candle from the story was not a paraffin one after all, so I decided to repeat the experiment with wax. Well, guys, antimony pentafluoride and fluorosulfuric acid mixture didn't dissolve wax either, and heating it uh, didn't make any difference. So, does that mean that the Olalab story is yet another chemistry myth? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't worry, guys, we are not done yet. I will show you a few reactions with magic acid. Elemental sulfur dissolves in magic acid, forming SH2 plus cations, that give it a bright blue color. Another quite peculiar one is the reaction between potassium perchlorate and magic acid. Mixing these two reagents, you can see active gas formation. This gas is no other than perchloryl fluoride. It is toxic and is a powerful oxidizing and fluorinating agent. At room temperature, it's practically inner gas, however, its reactivity increases drastically at high temperatures. We can see that by making it contact with some red hot metal powder like titanium. Magnesium. Or iron. In this reaction we can notice the formation of iron trichloride. Perchloryl fluoride reacts explosively with hydrides. Here I tried to make it contact with heated lithium hydride. 
and here I just accidentally dropped a piece of lithium hydride. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you really enjoy this Christmas chemical video. So if you enjoy what I do and uh, would like to help me to buy chemical reagents, equipment as some of my dear patrons do, I'll be glad to see you as a member of my Patreon. See you in the next video.